Kalamondan, Citrus microcarpa, Times citrofortunella microcarpa or Times citrofortunella mitis, also known as calamansi, is an economically important citrus hybrid predominantly cultivated in the Philippines. It is native to the Philippines and surrounding areas in southern China, Taiwan, Borneo, and Sulawesi. Kalamondan is ubiquitous in traditional Filipino cuisine. It is used in various condiments, beverages, dishes, marinades, and preserves. Kalamondan is also used as ingredients in the cuisines of Malaysia and Indonesia. Kalamondan is a citrofortunella, an intergeneric hybrid between a member of the genus Citrus, in this case probably the Mandarin orange, and the kumquat. It was formerly considered as belonging to a separate genus Fortunella. Names Kalamondan is called by many names, including Kalamondine, Kalamondan orange, Kalamansi, Kalamandarin, Golden lime, Kalamunding, Kalamansi, Philippine lime. Panama orange, Chinese orange, musk orange, bitter sweets, and acid orange. Even the botanical name has its portion of confusion. The Kalamondan was formerly identified as Citrus mitis blanco, C. microcarpa bunge, or C. madurensis lauer, all those referred to it as a citrus. Swingle's system of citrus classification would put kumquats into a separate genus, Fortunella, making the Kalamondan an intergeneric hybrid, and in 1975 it was given the hybrid name Times Citrofortunella mitis by John Ingram and Harold E. Moore based on Blanco's species name, but in 1984, Diana Wijnans pointed out that Bunge's species name, C. microcarpa 1832, predated Blanco's naming, making Times Citrofortunella microcarpa the proper name. Phylogenetic analysis now places the kumquat within the same genus as other citrus, meaning that its hybrids, including those formerly named as Times citrofortunella, likewise belong in citrus. Kalamondan is widely cultivated in the Philippines, where it is called Kalamansi by the Tagalogs, Kalamunding or Kalamansi by the Kapampangans and Pangasinans, and Limoncito or Saimaya by the Visayans. In Malaysia it is known as Lamau Kasturi. Kalamondan also grows in the northern parts of Indonesia and southern China. It is available year-round in the Philippines and is usually seen in its unripened green state. When left to ripen it turns a tangerine orange. Uses culinary arts the fruits are sour and are often used for preserves or cooking. The Kalamondan bears a small citrus fruit that is used to flavor foods and drinks. Despite its outer appearance and its aroma, the taste of the fruit itself is quite sour, although the peel is sweet. Kalamondan marmalade can be made in the same way as orange marmalade. Like other citrus fruits, the Kalamondan is high in vitamin C. The fruit can be frozen whole and used as ice cubes in beverages such as tea, soft drinks, water, and cocktails. The juice can be used in place of that of the common Persian lime, also called bear's lime. The juice is extracted by crushing the whole fruit, and makes a flavorful drink similar to lemonade. A liqueur can be made from the whole fruits, in combination with vodka and sugar. Asia In Asian cuisines, the juice is used to marinade and season fish, fowl and pork. It is very commonly used as a condiment in Filipino cuisine like pancit or luga, or in the basic sasawan dip of calamansi juice and soy sauce, fish sauce, for fish, spring rolls, dumplings and various savory dishes. The fruit is used in local recipes in northern Indonesia, especially around the North Sulawesi region. Fish are spritzed and marinated with the juice prior to cooking to eliminate the fishy smell. Kua asam sour soup, is a regional clear fish broth made with Kalamondan juice. Florida In Florida, the fruit is used in its fully ripe form with a more mature flavor profile than the unripe version. Tasters note elements of apricot, tangerine, lemon, pineapple and guava. The peel is so thin, each fruit must be hand snipped from the tree to avoid tearing. The entire fruit minus the stems and seeds can be used. It is hand processed and pureed or juiced and used in various products such as calamondan cake, coolis, marmalade, and jam. The peels can be dehydrated and used as gourmet flavoring with salt and sugar. The fruit was popular with Florida cooks in cake form from the 1920s to 1950s. Floridians who have a calamondan in the yard often use the juice in a summer variation of lemonade or limeade, as mentioned above, and, left a bit sour, it cuts thirst with a distinctive flavor, also it can be used on fish and seafood, or wherever any other sour citrus would be used. Essential oil 
The Kalimantan has considerable amount of essential oils stored in the rind. However, due to its thin rind, the essential oil yield is quite low. The most common method of extraction is via steam distillation, cold press method and centrifugal extraction. Since the majority of the world's Kalimantan comes from the Philippines, most of the essential oil supply is found there. Description Kalimantan thyme's Citrofortunella microcarpa is a shrub or small tree growing to 3 to 6 meters (9.8 to 19.7 feet). The plant is characterized by wing-like appendages on the leaf stalks and white or purplish flowers. The fruit of the Kalimantan resembles a small, round lime, usually 25 to 35 mm (0.98 to 1.38 in) in diameter, but sometimes up to 45 mm (1.8 in). The center pulp and juice is the orange color of a tangerine with a very thin orange peel when ripe. Each fruit contains 8 to 12 seeds. Variegated mutation There is also a variegated mutation of the regular Kalimantan orange, showing green stripes on yellow fruit. Cultivation its cultivation has spread from the Philippines throughout Southeast Asia, India, Hawaii, the West Indies, and Central and North America. In sub tropical and parts of warm temperate North America, Times Citrofortunella microcarpa is grown primarily as an ornamental plant in gardens, and in pots and container gardens on terraces and patios. The plant is especially attractive when the fruits are present. The plant is sensitive to prolonged and or extreme cold and is therefore limited outdoors to tropical, sub-tropical and the warmer parts of warm temperate climates such as the coastal plain of the southeastern United States USDA zones 8b11, parts of California, southern Arizona, southern Texas, and Hawaii. Potted plants are brought into a greenhouse, conservatory, or indoors as a houseplant during the winter periods in regions with cooler climates. In its native homeland in Southeast Asia, the Kalimantan grows well in cool and elevated areas and in sandy soils rich in organic matter. Waterlogged areas are not suitable for cultivation because no citrus tolerates continuously water soaked soils. Budded or grafted trees will start to bear fruit one or two years after planting. Trees may live for 40 or more years. In cultivation within the United Kingdom, this plant has gained the Royal Horticultural Society's Award of Garden Merit confirmed 2017. See also Citrus depressa, chikwasa, harami lemon References External links NPGS – Grin Information, X Citrofortunella Mitis Kalamondon – The most versatile fruit at Aggie Horticulture